YouTube, YouTube, what well, YouTube, Down Home News TV, I am your host, Dre, and I'm pretty sure by now y'all heard the positive news about the Supreme Court voting 9-0 to zero in reference to keeping the former president on the ballot. Some would say that... If um, the Democrats get power again, they might try to. That's I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Anything's possible. But um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds. But um, on that note, we got a article coming from Newsweek titled "Assassin Targeting Trump Allies Is on a Loose." FBI warns. The FBI in Miami has warned of an Iranian assassin that is wanted in connection to assassinating assassination targets against former and current public officials such as in those involved in former President Donald Trump administration. The FBI field office in Miami shared a wanted notice for Majid Dastjani Farahani on Friday. Majid, an Iranian intelligence officer, is wanted for questioning in connection with the recruitment of individuals for various operations in the United States to include lethal targeting of current and former United States government officials as revenge for a killing of IRGC QF Commander Soleimani, the FBI stated. Farahani also reportedly recruited individuals for surveillance activities focused on religious sites, business, and other facilities in the United States, the FBI said. Farahani acted on purported Farahani acted or purported to act for or on the behalf of directly or indirectly Iran's Ministry of Intelligence and Security. The announcement by the FBI comes amid heightened tensions between Iran and the U.S. earlier this year. Three U.S. service members were killed at a military base in Jordan. President Biden announced that radical Iran-backed militant groups operating in Syria and Iraq were responsible for prompting speculation on Iran's role in the incident. According to the BBC, Iranian Foreign Minister's spokesperson Nasser Kanan denied Tehran was behind the attacks, saying that Iran is not involved in the decision making of resistance groups. However, in 2022, Iranian President Ibrahim Razi made a speech in which he blamed Trump and former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo for the killing of Soleimani. If Trump and Pompeo are not tried in a fair court for the criminal act of assassinating General Soleimani, Muslims will take our martyrs' revenge, Razi said. According to Reuters, the aggressor murder, murderer and main culprit, the then President of the United States, must be tried and judged under the Islamic law of retribution, and God's ruling must be carried out against him. In December 2023, the United States Treasury Department announced sanctions against Farahari and other Iranian intelligence officer Mohammad Mahid Kanpur Ardastani. Both Farahani and Ardastani have recruited individuals for various operations in the United States to include lethal targeting of current and former U.S. government officials as revenge of the death of Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Quads Force Commander Salamani. The Treasury Department said Farahani and Ardistani also recruited individuals for surveillance activities focused on religious sites, businesses, and other facilities in the United States. Sounds like a legitimate article, but I didn't see this mentioned one peep in the mainstream news today. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this article.
pretty sure there are people out there that would like to retaliate for the general's death over in the Middle East. But uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share, download news TV. I'm Dre. Y'all have a good week.